Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. Today we're gonna do a normal special ops mission, which is, uh, yeah, kind of urgent because we're getting close to the end of the game, the game over. So if we uh, reach the end of the avatar clock, then uh, this is game over, but we're gonna try to do everything in our power to stop that. I think we're seven days away, but today we're gonna neutralize the field commander with uh, Hilda Carlson, Sarah Klein, Christina Castro, Jessica Crawford, uh, Erica Crawford, I keep missing, Jessica Taylor and Marina Ivanova. So uh, that's our squad for today, and let's go. And there we go, dropping into the sewers again. Seems like these field commanders always go through the sewers. Tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. The squad is in position and concealed. With the environmental conditions down there, they should be able to stay hidden without revealing each other if they're sighted. Okay, so we... Without revealing each other, that's always nice. We don't have a timer just yet, because we're not revealed just yet. So I'm going to start moving everybody up, and as usual, I'll get back to you when anything happens. And there we go, we see a shield bear and a codex, with quite the sight radius there. Um, so I'm not going to trigger them just yet, so we're just going to keep moving along. I think there's another codex in the back there, because I saw like the the effect like right over here or it might be some smoke but it feels like uh, it's coming from this canister okay it's not the head smoke of a uh, of a codex there I'm just seeing ah that's too bad this upper position is always inside so I would be spotted when I do that for now it also seems that any position I try to take here will get us spotted as well aside from maybe here headed there now doesn't seem like we are spotted like that, no. Okay. But for some reason these aren't flank shots. That's also a bit weird, but... Let's just keep moving. Okay, so they moved away. Which means that I can now put our snipers in a better position. Because they are right next to an elevated position here. So if I can put them down over here. This doesn't seem to be in their sight anymore. Just need to be careful that I don't trigger anything else. For some reason there are actually civilians on this map. That might also mean that there's... Um, those mimic things on the field. That's not good. I'm just gonna take a quick look behind the corner here. Moving out. To see if there's anybody over there. Yeah, there we go. Double Muton and an Archon, that's not good. That is not good at all. So I'm gonna have to set everybody up, because uh, this might get hairy in a minute. So the Codex and the Shield Bear is moving away again, I think. Oh no, they're coming back. They're coming back. I think I should probably pull Hilda and Marina back a bit. I know now know that those, yeah, those two mutons and the Archon are over there. Um. Because this might end badly otherwise. I think I should probably start with an explosion. But after I've moved Hilda out of the way. So Hilda and Marina move back. They don't have sight on the aliens anymore. Which means that the aliens also don't have sight at us anymore. Which in turn means that we can use Marina's normal grenades. Since that also uh, shreds armor on this area that should blow open the wall as well and I don't think that actually hits it does hit it a little bit I want to avoid it hitting the the sides where uh, our snipers are hiding behind but uh, like this should be fine that's a good uh, surprise boom there we go, we hit both, but that might actually cause the codex to split up. But at least we've uh, got rid of some armor. There we go, codex. Codex, codex is fine for now. Yeah, it doesn't split even. Um, now. Is... Hmm. Erica. 
has a 63% shot on the shield bay and a 60% shot at the codex. I think we should focus on the uh, the codex, uh, the shield bay first, since the shots are better. Otherwise, I think we might even go for a very risky flank shot there. But first, blackjack. And you kill the shield bear. 63 is not a lot. But if you hit, that's a kill. And we're dead from above, so... There we go. There we go. What'd you expect? Well, nothing else, apparently. Um, I could fire again with the pistol. That is now... Why is that 94% chance? That's a loss. Is that the same for uh, Christina? Because it's the pistol and not the... Ooh, 87, yeah. But of course, since it's a pistol shot, it's not going to kill it. Huh. Because it's going to split up again after that. Okay. Then that means... I am going to use the lightning reflex, uh, lightning hand shot. It's not going to kill it, but at least it's going to split up. That's four. So that means we now get two targets. Ooh, one is very far away. Uh, we can do that again just to finish it up. Ooh, that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's take that. Oh, that's with the sniper rifle. Okay, never mind. Might have been a little bit of overkill, but... Kind of made a little bit of mistake there, but... Uh, oh, and... Okay. Why can't we see the other one now? That's problematic. Oh! Picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Okay, seven turns. That is fine, but for some reason... Ah, uh, we're gonna have to trigger the rest. So let's put Hilda... Ooh, this is bad. This is not good, is it? Let's, 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 let's shuffle a few people around. So, Jessica with her grenades can go over here. That should give us a, a good position to fire at anything she sees. So, there we go. Two mutons and an archon. And those are gonna spread out a little bit. But not that much, actually. And she has sight on, does she have sight on the, on the codex then? Ah, there it is. Okay. That's weird. So the codex moved back over here. I don't have a lightning hand shot again. But at least we can get a little bit closer and fire at it from a very advantageous position. And kill it like that. Who of our two snipers has the best aim? So that's 84, 81. And now we have 81, 76. So definitely... Erica has the better Schultz. So 84 at the Archon, since we are at height advantage actually. And with that eye that turns into 63, that's just too low. So I'm just gonna fire the sniper rifle at the Archon from over here. That's 9 damage. That is lovely. And that turns him into Battle Frenzy, don't really care about all of that. But, Plasma Grenade, how big is that these days? So, big enough for this, or we can go with the... Oh, that's the flashbang, not the... Okay, so we have a grenade over here. But I think I want to grab the back muton and the cover of the front muton. So, this is going to be fine. Catch. So, that's going to shred the armor on the mutons. And that's a really weird way of uh, tossing a grenade over there, but there we go. And I don't know why the damage is always amplified like that, because it really isn't. It really isn't, but... Christina, you still have... Ooh, now you have a very nice sniper rifle shot, don't you? 88% on the back muton. I should probably take that, even though there's a codex right next to me. So, 88 on the muton in the back. Blammo. And that's even a critical. And we get some loot from that. Yeah, there we go. Um, the magnetic rifle. Do we still have somebody with shredding? 
Uh, Marina has shredding. But only a 65% shot for now. And if we put her closer, that might actually improve. So let's put her... Ooh, this is... This is really risky. I want to kill that Archon first. What's my shots at the Archon right now? Ooh, she doesn't even have sight on the Archon at the moment. So let's just put Sarah over there. Let's cover from both sides. She gets a shot at the... Archon 69. And he has 7 health left, so it's not a guaranteed kill even. And that's a complete miss. A complete miss. Okay. Oh god, and she has fear of missed shots. Okay. That didn't trigger. So we're gonna have to go with a shot on the Archon, because this is my final, final action. Um, we're gonna get grenaded here for sure. I also have... Is that... Combat Protocol, but that's on the... Uh, on the Codex. So I'm putting Hilda over here in that corner. They're in not good positions at all. But at least it's something. We got... Oh, did we just lose sight on... Oh. We just lost sight on the... Uh, the Codex. That is bad. What's... Who's your bond mate? Ooh. Aha! Uh -huh. Erika is her bond mate, so let's give her the teamwork. And then have another pistol shot at the Codex. So that's 94, that's gonna keep our snipers... Oh, what the hell! We just missed a 94% shot. And that's an annoying teleport. Psionic bomb, okay. Okay. That's four people who don't have their weapon next to <laughs> Ooh, this is bad. And that we probably might have a flank or a shot or something like that. What is he doing? Blazing pinions. Okay, I need to move everybody out anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blazing pinions. And then the muton is going to do... I'm guessing he's going to toss a grenade. He's going to toss a grenade. There he goes. So that's double damage. And shredding on the armor. Okay, that's not good. But I have shots on basically everything now. Um, Cause with Sarah, I can move out of the way. Uh, to over here. Sarah also has combat protocol. So combat protocol uh, on the Archon, I believe. Yeah, we're going to do double combat protocol on the Archon. So there we go. That's a jolt of lightning in his face. That can't miss. So boom. And then Hilda can do the exact same thing. Hilda, Hilda. That's Jessica. Jessica do, could do something as well. I feel like Jessica could just... Uh, oh, Jessica only has a flashbang left, so I'm just going to move her uh, forward a little bit. Uh, maybe to... You know what? Let's just focus first on killing. Let's just focus first on killing. So let's put Hilda over here. Out of the way of the psionic bomb. And do another, another uh, combat protocol on the... Arkel. There we go. That should kill it outright. I don't think that disables the blazing pinions. It might. But I think they just left already. So killing him won't change that. Okay. Then Marina. Marina still has a rocket. And maybe even the frost bomb. But I think I'm going to keep one of the bombs for later. Um, so let's just... Who is she bonded with? Aha! That's good to know. So if I... Move Marina over here... I'm gonna have to be sure that I can kill the... The Muton. Uh, the Muton. So I have a 79% chance shot with Erica at the Muton. So let's try that first. 
That's a mess. Okay, we're really unlucky today. Um, so that means that Jessica is going to have to use her flashbang in a minute. So that's a 100% sh pistol shot chance at the Kodax. But if I move her down, she actually gets into a better position to fire at the Mutal next as well. So let's move her down. And have her shoot with the pistol at the Codex. Like this. Blamo. Execution style. And then we have Jessica. Jessica could go over here, but then she's on fire apparently. Um, then I really need to be sure that I kill that Muton. I'm gonna move Jessica towards the back here. Uh, I don't think she has an auto loader or anything on her weapon if I uh, recall correctly so I need to reload and there we have Marina so that's but Marina could give a bond action to Christina in a second uh, I'm gonna move Marina in the same direction as uh, Jessica there but then give her teamwork action to Christina there we go and now we have another shot at the Muton. It's a very bad one. Crap. I was hoping it's going to be better than that. But uh, fire at it anyway. And we get burning and four damage. That's actually the maximum I could have done. And then we're going to use Jessica to just uh, flashbang it a little bit. There we go. I don't think that destroys loot. Otherwise, yeah, I'm sorry for the loot. There we go. And flash. And that's my last action, so it should move to the enemy now. Uh, that blows up, nobody gets hurt. And that blows up as well, and nobody gets hurt again. But the Muton is burning and disoriented. We gave him some fancy status effects. Oh, wow, that was a critical. He didn't miss. Okay, but Hilda survives. She got one in the face, but she survived. Now, um, let's start reloading. Reload Sarah, and then let's have her... Can Hilda actually heal herself? I'm assuming she can. Oh, yeah, she can. She can. There we go. Health back. 6 HP. But first, reload. Um, and then... Hmm... I could jolt the Muton as well, and that's going to kill it. I should probably do that. So, Sarah, can you jolt the uh, the Muton there? Yeah, let's just do that. Because I, I, I don't want to deal with that anymore. Boop. There we go. Um, the cool thing would be that I get that loot, but I think that we're... Yeah, we're right in range of the uh, the extraction point there then. So I'm guessing we're going to have to forfeit the loot here. Which is not not too bad. I would have loved another Illyrium cord, but uh, we need to do we need to reload everybody. So uh, see you guys in one turn. Oh gold. Oh gold. Yeah, I was moving everybody up. Oh crap, that's not good. Um how much do I have left? Not a lot. Oh, two people. Ooh, this is bad. Okay. Um, did not expect that. So let's just fire at it already, but that's not going to help us. I think I should focus on healing myself first. Because I'm not going to kill it anyway. Uh, so let's heal me. There we go. Um, and then move up Jessica and reload it as well. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. Didn't expect... I said it before. I knew it was going to happen. Because there were civilians in the sewers. But there we go. A huge fleshy monstrosity. Oh, yeah. Christina's going to get hit. And swipe... He missed. He's he's an idiot. He missed. I'm not even mad about that. 
<sighs> okay, uh, can everybody focus fire on, uh, on, you know, you know, the, the fleshy monstrosity over there? Fire at the, the, the mimic, the, I, I forgot his, his name. What was it called again? Is it a mimic? It's not a mimic. I'm really good at names. I'm really, really good at names. Um, let's just put Marina over there. I'm supposing she won't miss from there. There we go. 88% shots. That's please hit. There we go. Faceless. That was it. You want some more? There we go. Faceless. Just <laughs> Promotion for Marina. That's good at least. Um, I'm just going to put Christina into conceal. There we go. That means we can actually move further and see if we can spot those groups of uh, soldiers in the back there uh and we're gonna start doing that for everybody so let's just conceal that doesn't take an action at all and we can start moving further there's one more civilian over here but i'm gonna suppose that that's a decoy a, a decoy civilian decoy and there's the Commander, okay. Target identity confirmed. That's the general. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. Oh, don't tell me that's also... There's another one. There's another one. And it revealed us. Right for the officer. Oh, this is bad. So I'm guessing if I conceal... Ah, I can still conceal. That's good. Then I should probably... Move her all the way up here. Got it. And then reload next turn. That's going to be a bit weird, but... Big alien. Big, big fleshy alien again. Um, I should probably move her somewhere into full cover. Like over here. You say so. And if you can see the faces from over here... Oh, did she trigger? No, she didn't. But technically, we can still see that Lancer over there. But, faceless. That's one shot. And then we got... We could do lightning. Oh, that's our only, our only action. Okay, then I'm going to have to do it. Uh, lightning hands on the... Wait a second. I can actually hit the general from here as well. Let's do that first then. Lightning hands on the general. It's a flank shot. And he's burning. There you go. A little bit of damage on that guy. And of course we're revealed then. But then a 100% shot at the faces would take it out in one go as well. There we go. And that guy is going to continue burning. Okay. Commander is dangerous. You can probably target just as the, uh, the officers can. And I think there was another group of troopers here. I don't think that's a flank shot, but it's still gonna possibly hurt. That was a miss. He's burning, of course. That's gonna affect his stats a little bit. And that Lance is going, going, going. He's gonna hit her. Yeah, Hilda got hit. Now he's wide out in the open there. She's not even disoriented, so... I'm guessing we're fine. Hello, Heavy Lancer. You wanna get shot in the face through some metal bars? Oh my god, that's I think our 30, 80 or higher percent shot that we actually just blatantly miss. Great. Um, so Hilda's in a bad way, again. Which doesn't mean that I can't use her, because I think from over here, she might actually have a flank shot, but... But, 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 but. But, 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 but. but. Let's go with Christina first. 23%. That is really bad. Well, the pistol is probably higher. 57. I think if I move Sarah up a little bit further, we might get sight on something. Ooh, I can actually skulljack him as well. Skull mine him. Um, but that's going to trigger more enemies, isn't it? I'm just going to see if I can move her up a little bit further. Like for example, over here. I know that's... Giving our position away. And it might actually trigger anything more now. But we do get a nice flank shot on the general now. So that a, that's a damage. I don't know what that fancy, that fancy effect is. But it was a, 
pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, I could actually just try and skull jack, skull mine the heavy lancer. That's probably my best option from here. So let's do that. There we go. Um, small intel cache or facility lead. I think I'm going to go for the intel cache. And we get it. We would have even gotten the facility lead. There we go. Small intel cache. And... We're in. There we go. That doesn't trigger a codex, now does it? Okay. That's good. That's good. That means we only have the general to deal with now. And he's almost dead. Um, and I can just flank him. Yeah, let's yeah. flank him with Christina. We got a lot of uh, mileage out of those pistols already. There we go. Goodbye. Six damage. There we go. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need but we know there's more enemies. Any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Okay, so let's just move up with everybody we still have left, because we know there's more to come. So let's put them a little bit closer. So we can anticipate any incoming troops. Because I know there's like a patrol of three right near the landing site. Or there was at least. They probably moved around a little bit. They might pop up in the back. Or this civilian is also a faces. That's probably an another option. Ah, there we go. Look at her face over there. That's a really annoying position though. Um, if we can get that frost bomb in there, where is the frost bomb? So the frost bomb is with Marina, and I need to get her into a a good position to place that strategically. Bring in the pain. Bring the pain indeed. Blowing that wide open. So it seems like yeah, the back cover isn't destroyed. Uh, but I might get a nice shot in to kill one of them with a pistol. So let's put Christina a little bit closer. And see, what do we have? We have a, a flank shot on the officer. And not on the elite trooper. So let's try on the officer first. That's five and burning. I don't think it's going to kill him. He has two left, I think, then. Oh, no, he has one left. Never mind, so he's dead. He's definitely dead. Um, Hilda has a 49% shot, but how's her health? I think she's better off healing herself now again. Because if she gets hit again, she would uh, possibly die. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to kill all of them here. I could try and skull jack the trooper over there, but it still leaves me wide open for that guy. So definitely not going to do that. 73% on the elite trooper is actually not bad. So let's take that. There we go. I think that's a kill. The officer is dead either way. And then I think I just need to move Erica in a better position. Uh, she doesn't see anything from here. So let's just put her in full cover in the back. And she starts seeing people now. Uh, the officer, I'm pretty sure the officer is dead, but... Might not be bad to give our squaddies an, an upgrade. So 69% chance. I think that was a hit. There we go. Oh, but he resurrects as a zombie. He resurrects as a zombie. That's not good. Ooh, that's... Yeah, that's a flank from that soldier. Five damage. Luckily, these guys don't do a lot of damage. Because we got hit quite a few times. Please don't, please don't get close enough for a hit. I don't think he's close enough. Oh, he is. He definitely is. Oh. <laughs> Sarah almost died there. That would have been really bad. But. But. She can return the favor. So let's just uh, blow off the face of that zombie. There we go. Um, and then. Hmm. 56, but that guy is easily flanked right now. So we can put Hilda on the sides. Yeah, let's put Hilda on the what sides. Marina can't get close enough, but we can put it over here. Christina with a pistol shot, maybe. But Erica, 
could also go to the sides and pistol him in the back. And I think Erica already got a promotion. Jessica has a promotion. Hilda doesn't have a promotion yet. Well, she did kill a few of them already. Oh, probably should have used her last then. She still gets a critical, but that's not enough. Okay, Marina already got a promotion as well. So, Christina, 93% shots. Ooh, yes. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, ha, 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 That's another zombie, isn't it? Um, so, let's put them as close as possible. Marina's also close, so 87. Let's just blast that thing away. He really needs to... And Marina keeps missing. That fear of missed shots just causes her to miss shots constantly. There we go. There we go. That is how it's done. Whew. Two wounded. But uh, they were... Um, yeah, they were hit quite a bit. And Erica did get a promotion from that last shot. So for some reason they really focused on our healers. Because we got shot more than twice, hit more than twice, and was both on Sarah and Hilda constantly, as you can clearly see. So they're both gravely wounded uh, and tired, which is uh, not that surprising. Bond level up available, but let's uh, promote a few people here. Kill zone. Take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. Or face off, fire once at every visible enemy with your pistol. I mean, face off is really cool, but... I think since she's our sniper sniper, we're gonna keep face off for Christina instead of Erica. So let's go with kill zone first. The reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. There we go. Um, and then we have Jessica Taylor, who can go for blast padding or shredder. And I think I'm just gonna go for more shredding. There we go. And then Marina gets her promotion as well. Heavy Ordnance or Hollow Targeting. Well, that's definitely going to go into Heavy Ordnance. And with that, we're done. Codex Brain 20 Intel and the corpses of everything we've killed. Oh, that doesn't mean we get anything new, I think. So 216 supplies and we counted the Alien Cypher Dark event. But Hilda Carlson now got Fear of Panic. That is not good. So everybody starts getting negative traits. Um, we're getting very close to uh, the wire here. Um, it's only three more days for the sabotage. So if the sabotage actually works, I'm not going to investigate that just yet. We should be done. So I'm going to start running that out. So abandoned camp. There we go. War suit completed. And we get the experimental powered weapons. Um, do we still have that actually means we don't have anything in the proving grounds right now I say with the end of the world coming very very close to uh, to us right now so let's choose something it's probably gonna be limited to the few things we can build with actual supplies hmm the shadow keeper that looks like an old pistol remarkably accurate I'm gonna make that I want to see if that works well with Christina then. Uh, and then we get that little bit of intel here in the abandoned camp. There Strategic we go. Resource located. 36 intel. I think I'm going to move to the black market really quickly. So the idea is uh, we're going to go to the black market, maybe continue scanning just a little bit. And then until the sabotage is complete. If the sabotage doesn't drop the avatar project completely... Then we're going to have to go to one of the facilities. I'm, I think I'm going to go for the facility in North America over here. Because that was the first one that popped up. Research is useless, but I think I'm going to buy the uh, superior scope. Might help with uh, our snipers getting a pretty perfect aim there. So superior scope. There we go. Let's accept that. 15 aim on top of everything else. And we can move back. So nothing useful otherwise. Now... I think the weapons dealer is probably the more interesting one. So let's go over there. Even though we'll not be able to complete it before we need to do anything else. So moving over there. That also gives us a bit of days. A few more days that we can actually heal up people. Ooh, that's actually a far away. I'm going to have to be careful. So sabotage is still two days away. There we go. Covert action. I think. No. 
Yes? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Covert action complete. So that means we don't need to go to an alien facility just yet. Okay, so nicely done ladies. So Lisbeth and Elisabetta completely countered the Avatar project over there. So that's good. Let's... Oh, Lisbeth got a promotion. That's good. And we need to assign a new covert action. So now that we know that that works, we have another one of those. Reduce Avatar project progress. But uh, I think we should go for hunting one of the chosen again. So let's do that. So we're going to put Lisbeth out there again. So Marina, Emily and Lisbeth for this seven day mission to locate the stronghold. And begin action. So we're going to leave those facilities as they are. Because in a day we're going to get assassin weapons. These findings. Let's check this out. Having re recovered both of the chosen assassin's weapon from the field, a shotgun and a modular sword, I must admit I am intrigued by the advances the aliens have managed to craft into these otherwise conventional weapons. Uh, and now we can probably use them. So we got the Arashi and the Katana. Prize weapon of the chosen assassin. It is said to never miss its intended target. And the Arashi... Yeah, that's the same explanation we already got. Faces autopsy is now instant, which means we're going to do that next. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the faceless to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I love how that's remarkable because I think everybody, everything that dies starts smelling. But we get the Mimic Beacon. The Mimic Beacon generates a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. It is deployed like a grenade thrown to the side where the decoy will appear. That is one of the best items in the game. And I know, know I've uh, hold off on it for quite some time. Probably once I do a legend, uh, a legendary playthrough, I should probably focus on that first. Because that's going to save our lives a lot if we start doing uh, that difficulty. But, 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 but. We have a lot, of, uh, a lot of autopsies. But for now, I feel like our most important focus should go to plasma rifles. We need to upgrade our weaponry to start doing even more damage and start taking out the uh, more dangerous threats in one go. So plasma rifle, 17 days. There we go. And then we got the shadow keeper. I can't do anything else. Um, I don't have any Illyrium cores left, so the proving ground is going to be stable for now. But that does mean that I can use that engineer for something more useful. Um, and I think that more useful thing, for now at least, is going to be adding another uh, unit to the resistance communication. So let's empty that out and put another engineer into resistance contacts. There we go. And that gives us plus four contacts, so that means we can go up to 13 now. Um, we might be able to do that soon then, because I think we still have that upgrade that allows us to make contact instantly. And it's only eight more days until the next drop. So let's do the weapon sealer first. Sarah Klein and Elisabetta have uh, both recovered. And we have the shadow chamber available. That's good. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. There we go. Shadow chamber complete. New objective added. Examine the recovered black site vial. With the so let's do that. Fully operational. We can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the codex artifact recovered by our forces. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. Let's do this in order and do the codex brain first. All research projects will be suspended. Ha, huh. wait a second. All research projects, so including our plasma rifle projects. Let's start that anyway and see how that actually works because I'm kind of forget how that works. Paused. Okay, so it does pause all our research. That's annoying. 
But nothing I can do about that just yet. Can we improve that with another engineer? Probably not. No, all scientists are just working on this now. Okay, we have an extra engineer on surplus now. We could put that engineer to uh, power for now. I mean, we have them available. Or, or, since we have that engineer available, how much does it cost for the workshop? We don't have enough power now. Okay. Then I suggest I take one of the units from over here. Uh, yeah, let's take that out. So we can't make contact now. Let's put one into the power relay. Over here. Now we can do uh, this. Build a facility over here and build a workshop. Workshops are going to be really important later on. So let's create that. And now we have no supplies. There we go. And we start building that workshop. In 10 days we have that. And then... Continue the weapons dealer. We're going to get some more supplies. There we go. So now I've kind of boned myself. I don't have uh, that those extra contacts anymore. A facility lead. Or a scientist. Scientists are actually interesting right now. Since we have some very high profile research uh, options going on. So let's actually do that. Scientists. There we go. I rarely do scientists, but uh, there we go. Let's grab that scientist because uh, we need to wait for our supply drop anyway, which we're going to get in four days. But then the Avatar project starts building back up again, of course. So alien facility. The aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. I know, I know Bradford, but I just, I just don't wanna. We got an incoming transmission, though, so communication from the resistance, which is not the supply drop. Running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Aha! We, uh, because of the shadow shadow chamber, we now got the uh, preview as well. So seven enemies: heavy mech, advanced purifier, elite trooper, Andromedon, and heavy lancer. So that's actually not that bad. That's actually pretty easy even and we do get a lot we get 200 supplies and 114 intel operation half dead golds okay so we need to define oh look at that templar suit with the titan armor that looks really really fancy um i'm gonna go with the b team for this one uh just because we're not really well this isn't a really a hard mission so if we just reconfigure this a little bit we might get uh, a better squad. So this is going to be the squad. A bit of a mix of our best and our, um, well, up and coming people. Uh, we have Sarah Klein, Lena Bauer, Christina Castro, Elena Dragunova, Jessica Taylor, and Heidi Hogg. And Heidi's back. Heidi's back to kick some ass. So uh, next up, Operation Half That Gold. That shouldn't take too long. We just need to, need to neutralize the target. And seven enemies. So it should be fine. So... With that done, I'm going to take a little break first. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And see you guys next time on the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye.